guys, uh, today we're in a game called Subway Paint, and uh, I'm going to show you just kind of easiest methods to get good traces. Actually, no, I'm going to do bu bubble letters. How to do shining shading on bubble letters? Well, first thing you got to do, you got to draw a bubble letter. Just kind of draw a T to make it thick and more symmetrical for me. After that, if you draw it, you uh, go down one layer, fill it. Also, I suggest increasing the size of the thing. And after you fill the whole thing in, I'm just gonna do these two areas because I'm gonna have my shading uh, facing the right. And uh, the shine, that means the shine should be on the left. And since I've done that, you go up a layer, you get, uh, you get a darkened color of the color that you just used. And I screwed up. I gotta rewrite the T. Actually, sometimes you don't, after you already, after you already get the trace out, of uh, what the T is, you can just leave it like this, and uh, let's go join me, it seems, and no clue what she's doing, I think she's trying to make me look like I'm bleeding, I don't think it's funny, anyways, let's keep going, you add shading here, on the edges, Right there, like that, and then next step is you draw a big fat outline. Again, sometimes you don't even need this step, but uh, real quick. And after you add the shading, it already is looking better. I'll just cut that off. Actually, no, I'm just going to have my shading be facing this way. And, uh, easiest way to get the color back, you just grab the color, steal tool. You steal the color. Because that's logic. Okay. And then, uh, erase my little dumb mistakes. And... Just gonna keep filling. So once you get all of this filled in, real quick, hey, give me a second. Uh, seems I'm drawing an L or half of a T. Uh, you get the shading right here. It looks better with shading. And fix my mistake. Boom. Okay. You're gonna, next thing you're gonna do is you just, uh, you just, uh, okay, my brain's not working right now. Uh, you get the white color. Go into uh, two layers uh, higher. You draw it at whatever size you want it to be. I normally go for a five or a four as my size. And uh, you just kind of draw a kind of uneven circle. After that, you steal your color again. And you scoot it up. Closer to the white if it's at the max. If you say you drew it down right here, then you just skirt it up. And suggest you go up two things and not do that. Okay, do not erase it. You go down, go down one layer and uh, you just kind of circle it. 
this whole area gets circled. And that was a very big fail. And quick, let me fix this. That's how you get kind of just really cool looking bubble letters. Obviously, I did not do well on these right here. But you get shading on the bubble letters, and sometimes I've even seen people do uh, white lines, just kind of. Oh my gosh, I, I suck at everything right now. Very, very messy. I've seen some people just draw on the edge like this it adds good shine too and then uh they take the color that they just drew the one that they circled with it, and then they six they draw inside of it like this and boom it's kind of the best way to get shading on your bubble letters in here. And now almost done. That should be it, honestly. Bubble letters kind of look good. Honestly, I think I did a good job. Well, I hope you enjoyed and hope this tutorial helped you. Uh, goodbye, and you have a good day.